All right, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys have caught a couple key moments in the past videos. I alluded to a crazy buyout. We got some good whatnot pieces. I spent so much money to start them all at one dollar. I did do a big buyout, but I don't really know if I can even put that in the video. Honestly, it needs its own video anyways, because it's the entire back of this car right now and another 250 shirt, so 500 total. There might be a couple like mixed in with some of the other buyouts that I could not include. One was a buyout of a store in LA that I also don't know if I can and slash or will release. And this buyout that I was discussing, well, that is what we will be going over today. All right, so this is probably the single biggest buyout I have ever done at one single time. Well, actually, really, this was done at two separate times, but from one single person. It's mostly t-shirts. There's a lot of t-shirts, but this store literally had everything. Harley tees, 3D emblems, drug tees, band tees, NASCAR tees, wrestling tees, comic book tees, skate tees, art tees, obscure tees. Literally, like, every possible category you could think of, even down to... This got a bunch of serial killers on the front of it. As you can see, it is extremely thrashed. I can fit my whole hand through it. I do plan on paying to get this thing repaired because this is an absolutely insane shirt. Might as well just start with some of the skate tees. 90s porn star, pull my finger. 90s blunt, early 2000s Powell Peralta. Good 26 red, little pink panther flip. This one I actually am not familiar with. It says Long Beach Dub All Stars Warp Tour. I think this is actually a band. We got a bunch of birdhouse. I was actually pretty excited about this buyout because as most of you guys know, I sell on whatnot. Those of you guys that don't follow me, Terrific. T-H-R-I-T-R-O-W, top link in the description. So not only will I leave my whatnot right here on the screen, but it will also be the top link in the description. If you use that link to sign up for whatnot, you will get $15 off your first purchase. And I have a couple live schedules. Almost every skate tee that I show off in this video will get ran starting at a dollar during that stream. Currently scheduled for you to bookmark. And while you're following me on whatnot, you might as well follow me on Instagram as well, Terrific, T-H-R-I-T-R-O-W, which I will also put on the screen. I will also leave a link to my Instagram in the description. That is insane. Insane. Some sort of creature eating a human burger. 90s birdhouse, eating brains for breakfast. Also 90s birdhouse. Classic Tony Hawk vintage birdhouse. Another vintage birdhouse. Another vintage birdhouse. Ooh, good tag. As you can see, that birdhouse tag is a little bit different. Birdhouse Willie Santos. Another USA made birdhouse. Birdhouse Vinny Vegas. Vintage birdhouse. Another vintage birdhouse. And two more really good vintage birdhouse tees. All of those will get auctioned starting at a dollar. Here we have on the Toltecs 1997 dated Powell skateboards. And this one also on the Toltecs, yet again, the Powell skateboards. This thing is insane. This toy machine on a basics tag, holy. Oh, here's another good one, another toy machine. We have another toy machine, beautiful like uneven fade on that. This one I actually don't know what the brand is. I just thought this was kind of cool, Stone Mountain. Here's like a bunch of different brands, 90s porn star, vintage world industries, long sleeve. Absolute staple of a brand, 90s Fresh Jive, single stiatch, old creature on the NHS tag. Just in time for summer, we got the 90s Stussy tank top. Another blunt skateboards. Ooh, probably the best 26 red t-shirt. This thing is insane. The colors are gorgeous with the little 26 hit right there. Crosshair tag, hookup. Steve Olsen, shorty skateboards. This one I'm actually gonna wait to show off just for a second. 90s flip skateboards, an absolutely iconic flip tee. Another vintage flip. And of course we have two more vintage flip skateboard tees. Single stitch on the red bar anvil, 90s etnies tee. Now this next one is dope. One of the most iconic streetwear brands of all time, Fucked. One thing I always liked about Fucked is they actually made tees referencing BMX. As you guys know, I like skate tees, but I never grew up skating. I did, however, grow up riding bikes. And some of my favorite pieces from this entire buyout include these two t-shirts. One I have never seen. This is a Joey Garcia El Jefe. This is the model of bike, but just absolutely insane BMX tee. And then this one I'm actually not familiar with. It says Standard Bike Company. I'm not sure if this is referencing something else. I'm familiar with the bike company, but I've just never seen this shirt. It is single stitch. It says Jane's Addiction, and then it has, uh, 
she's like a playmate to Jane. Obviously Jane's addiction, it's a play on the van and the playmate. Anyways, we also have like some skate adjacent, except for this top one, obviously. Nike SB, and this is like early Nike SB too. On the silver, early 2000s Nike tag. Kind of fitting since we actually talked about Nike SBs while I was there. You have this really dope like eight ball hoodie. Jinko, I don't know what year this is, but it's definitely early. Airwalk snowboards. There's like three Mossimos in here. There's some gotcha surf tees. This surf tee, another really dope gotcha surf tee. This is a homies t-shirt. This is a surf tee. Damn, the Jabot denim tee. That is fire. MFG or Jabot is mostly known for their pants. Vintage Volcom, another toy machine. Good toy machine. Low key, I forgot about some of these tees because it's been so long. They've been sitting in a storage unit since I got back. And then this one I just think is dope. Vintage bike tee, the bike frame right there. A little promo on a Hanes. Oh, I'm actually just gonna make a little stack. I don't know what timestamp we are currently at in the video, but recording that took 30 minutes. And that is one of eight bags. Anyways, next category, Banties. This actually isn't a Bansy, it's Guitar Hero. Link 182, little cityscape. Beautiful Jimi Hendrix. Still beautiful, but less beautiful Jimi Hendrix. Disturbed ah. Sublime. Two Gorillas Tees. Good Papa Roach. This, this is, is my last resort. resort. I'm him. One, two, three, four Tool Tees. This one's probably my favorite. One, two Corn Tees and a Family Values. Two My Chemical Romance Tees. Two Incubus Tees. Two Cradle of Filth Tees. Look at this. And the back hit is a little crazy. Not as crazy as a shirt that I have in one of these bags. We have two REMs. I thought I had three, but then this one had this like brown tag on it. So I'm pretty sure this actually was from buying in Thailand. Obviously when I was packing everything, I mixed everything together to get in the car, but I tried to separate the stuff from Thailand, the stuff from LA, and then the stuff from this particular buyout. That being said, if there is over 500, just know there may have been a couple other pieces included. And if it's less than 500, I lost one or got scammed. Two Pink Floyd tees, two Mud Vein tees. I like the way you look at me. Put a little mud. The dirty things you do. Two zombies, one Rob, one white. Ooh, and a plethora of Grateful Dead fish. And I think there's like one Almond Brothers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 of those t-shirts, Jimmy Buffett and uh, Moody Blues. Basically 19 band tees of bands I don't listen to, but for the notable fish tees, the fish breakthrough? I'm not the biggest ringer guy, but this fish tee is dope. Mmm, fish tour. These are kind of my personal favorites. Some of these might just be grateful that are, I'm not quite sure. This does have like a little hit down here, says Echo. Damn, that one's kind of nuts. Oh, this one's cool too. The sleeves are missing, but super cool graphic. The lobster from Mars Grateful Dead tee is crazy. This is a 70s Grateful Dead Raglan. So it is true vintage. Fuck yeah. And then on the front, it's got this graphic. This thing is nuts. Whoever designed this does a lot of drugs. Like a lot of drugs. Whew. All right, another bag of banties. Two of eight bags down. Soul Asylum, Orgy, Less Than J, Pantera, Aerosmith, and beautiful Rolling Stone on that forest green color. It's actually like a really dope Aerosmith graphic. Super faded Stone Temple Pilots. These are really good. The Dead Milkman, this Depeche Mode is so freaking soft. Back hit, it's like one of the softest tees I've ever felt. Black Sabbath, Spin Doctors, CC Talk, V for Vendetta. I am unable to see what this is. Secret Samadhi, super faded on the front, Lenny Kravitz, back. MXPX, Buffalo Tom, Blondie, two really good Van Halens, Jim Morrison Memorial, Mur, 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 Death. Today, Junior! Murder, Death, Kill. Jane's Addiction, good Jane's Addiction. Came FDM, Pearl Jam, and of course, absolutely gorgeous. La la. Cool Rolling Stones. Blind Pig Records, Spice Girls, Overkill. I'm not familiar with this band, but cool long sleeve. This is not a band. This was supposed to be in the skateboard category. You love skateboards? There's gonna be a couple commenters that probably roast me. I'm not gonna know every band. Please comment about how much better you are than me and how much more knowledgeable and how stupid I am for not knowing the band. I greatly appreciate it. Dice, dice, dice. Is it Andrew Dice Clay? The police? Ho oh, ho, this Lollapalooza is so good. It's a ringer, but God, that is insane. 1985 Tina Turner with the Pepsi promo. Here's a chance for you guys to flex on me. Arlo Guthrie, I have no idea who that is. Alice's Restaurant Massacre. My Queen, Stevie Nicks with the bat. Oh man, this looks like the perfect wit for me, but it does look a little long. Ugly Kid Joe, Napalm Death, Jewel of the Nile. Don't know what that is. Barefoot's 
Ser servants? It's single, 1994. Gonna need to hit the Google machine on that one. Jewel Spirit, System of a Down, 1998. I know nothing about this band either. So if you see me wearing this, please let me know how much of a poser I am. Sun Studio? I don't know what this is. Ooh, Lady Gaga. Hillary Duff, my queen. Does Hillary Duff have a drug problem? Ooh, we're getting to some of my favorites. This is actually a rap seed. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it was Aesop Rock, who I'm a fan of. It is Aesop, a different rapper. I looked these tees up and they go for quite a bit of money. This Ramones is so good. I have wanted this shirt for quite some time. I do think it's gonna be a little bit big. Then we have one of my favorite Morrisseys. The reason I love this Morrissey so much is because if you look, the licensing is actually to Sotheby's, which is super sick. It's like a famous auction house. They auction off all sorts of art. If this fits, it may stay in the personal. Ooh, a Madonna, Blonde Ambition. Then I have three other ones. I'm not too sure what they are. There's a song from Grateful Dead, Keep On Trucking. It uses this same font. So I don't know if this is like a Grateful Dead-esque magazine. Speaking of magazines, you have Relix Magazine, Your Doorway to the World. Once again, no idea what this is, but it does have a Grateful Dead-esque graphic on the back. And then I don't know what this is. It says Skin Crawl, Single Stitch, and it says the Mirror, that says Mirror with a V, which flatters not. I know we have five of eight bags left, but one bag is sweatshirt. So I think we are about halfway, which is a perfect time to go over the rest of the story. Because like I said, this was actually purchased in two segments. When we got to LA, I believe it was January 20th, maybe January 19th. As soon as we got there, we worked out the first 15K bundle for 250 shirts. We then talked about doing another bundle once I got back from Thailand. So I went to Thailand for a couple weeks and then flew back to LA. We linked up, worked out another 15K bundle. We went over so many shirts. Now going over this many shirts is not a quick process. It takes a lot of time because I want to see each and every tee, but of course he wants to move product as quickly as possible. So we were kind of going back and forth for a while because the quality is a little bit higher. Even though I spent 30,000, we just kept it kind of at that same rate where it was 250 shirts for 15 grand. I would have liked to get a couple more. I really wanted to get like 280 shirts, but the pieces I was getting were really good. And there was one piece in particular that you will see in a moment that I just, had to have. I feel like he kind of knew he had me by the balls with that one piece. So we did another bundle for 250 shirts and $15,000. I guess I can show you guys some of the bangers. Some of the top, top pieces. First of all, no try. I got five on it. Oh my God. This is a good tee. I almost forgot that we worked something out for this. The Busta Rhymes, dangerous, absolutely insane rap tee. This is freaking amazing. Obviously there's a lot of good tees in here, but they all range in price. This is definitely one of the most expensive tees in this bundle. Speaker box, Outcast promo. We'll go. Bring this back. That's something to do with racing. It has the Goodyear tires on it. Not quite sure what it is. This is like an OG Puma piece. Dated 83. Long sleeve with the sleeve hit. Ooh, the Feralta Envy tag. Good no fear. You got the chicken and the cat calling each other names. Pussy chicken. We got two vintage Banana Republic tees. Vintage Reebok pump tee. Single stitch with the back hit. The tennis ball is like a puff print. Another Jabot piece. Damn, that one's dope with the wraparound hit. Little surf tee. Hobby surf tee. In your face. Dated 1993. Another bike tee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Nike pieces. This Jordan tee is actually on the 90s Nike gray tag. The athletic cuts is sick. The best on earth, the best on Mars. And then absolute insane AOP Jordan tee on the 90s Nike tag. Beautiful Nike ACG. This is all like sports and wrestling. One, two, three, four, five wrestling tees. Good World Cup soccer tee. Yo, the Denver Broncos Tweety is actually kind of gas. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine. Oh, dang. That is cool. The Big East Tournament. I like the colors on that. Good Green Bay. Utah Jazz Breakthrough. Ooh, Babe Ruth. That's looking beautiful. 90s Kansas City Royals. One of my favorite hats growing up. New York Mets, Celtics. And then we have the other AOP MJ. Different MJ. Magic Johnson. I literally just ran a really dope Orlando Wizard tee and I kind of wish I would have saved it for this tee because those would have looked cool in the photo together. Yankees, Packers, Packers, Hornets, Broncos, Raiders, Houston Rockets. Oh, nice. Derek Jeter, like player, card tee. Buffalo Bills breakthrough. And then San Antonio Spurs. Green Bay, Stingrays, Notre Dame, Packers, Notre Dame, Packers, Raiders, Georgia Tech, Atlanta Braves, breakthrough. Oh wow, I just realized this is a sweater. I have been talking to this camera for over two hours. But obviously all you guys see is wrestling tee, wrestling tee, Harley, Harley long sleeve. This one 
is sick on the gray tag nike this thing is absolutely insane that might be my favorite michael jordan tee i've ever seen boxing tee the san francisco 49ers with the minor georgetown hoyas the patriots wraparound new york knicks breakthrough sean camp the number one shooter the graphic on this is just so sick the colors are gorgeous if i actually cared about baseball this would definitely be a personal beautiful joe mom cyana and hands down my favorite single tee from the sports category Category. The Seattle Supersonics Superman S dated 1983. This thing is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 NASCAR shirts. Some of these are pretty good, like the Monsters Inc. This actually is a NASCAR, but close enough. The pile's really coming together. We just did sports, we just did NASCAR. This should have been in the sports category. Nick Nicholas presents Palmer with the green coat. Good little golf shirt. This probably should have been in the Nike slash sports category. It's like a marathon tee. As you can see, you got the Nike shoes with the little Nike branding right there, 1987. What's really dope, if you look at the bottom of this graphic it's kind of like its own mc escher flip that is sick the 90s new balance promo another vintage new balance promo committed to american workers and if you look the new balance shoes make up the american flag the 90s single stitch timberland give racism the boot promo tee that is a dope one on the 90s fruit of the loom single stitch that is gorgeous cvo sperry top cider i love those old like brand promo tees we got another nike tee i know i showed off some harleys but we do got a couple more one two Three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Eight, nine. Ten more to be specific. It says Sturges Police. That's actually crazy. Really good Easy Riders long sleeve. American Biker AOP. This is the stack of everything we have gone through thus far. We got some cartoon S categories. This is Dragon Ball Super. The Quickie Mart Simpsons. We got two Betty Boops. Two South Parks. Flintstones. Rocky and Bullwinkle. That one we'll discuss in a moment. Aliens. Really dope Simpsons. Give him shooting a slingshot and hitting Homer on the back. Oh shit. With the Butterfinger BBs. It's a snack tee. That's a Butterfinger BB. That's that is so dope. 90s airbrush wolf ring, power of terror. We got a couple of liquid blue heaters. Oh, this is good. Sega Genesis 16 bit power. Ooh, it's a pretty good Spider Man. And then my favorite are like these ones right here. Keep shooting till you're booting. It's like all of the cartoon characters getting drunk. Where's Waldo? Holy shit, dude, it's getting really good. This is an old clothing company, United Colors of Benetton. Look at that like pop art graphic on the front. I might actually keep that as a personal. This is Norton Motorcycles tee. Some band tees I miss. We got the cars. I I love McKins, Meckins, and then the really good black flag. Everything went black. Another Cannondale tee. These categories are kind of all starting to bleed together, dude. For example, I showed you guys some NASCAR shirts. We got the McLaren Mercedes powered by Mercedes Benz. This one is nuts. The Formula One Racing Grand Prix. 1998 Land Rover promo. Another vintage Land Rover promo. This has got to be like an 80s Volkswagen promo. Yo, this one is so sick. The Impala SS single stitch car tee. This thing is nuts. Oh man, I just know noticed there is a fat hole right here we will try to send that in to get repaired because that is just too good of a shirt here's like a cobra owners club tee at the rat fink this one's dope a little boeing andy warhol style t-shirt dated 93 i think two out of these five planes have severe issues like the door keeps falling off and these ones just keep disappearing randomly oh my god there's so many good shirts i did not even notice the back of this 90s single stitch maserati promo can't afford the car but i can't afford the Tea. I thought I only had one plain tee, but I guess I have a Virgin Airlines tee. All right, and here we got like a couple other miscellaneous. Moscow Circus. Support U.S. troops. Oh, what the? Help America get ahead. Here's another good military tee. This is for the uh, stealth fighter. Does need a little bit of an oxy. A man's garage is his castle with the freaking supercars right there. And you got two bike week tees. We are getting down to like some of the best shirts. Iraqi portable... This shirt is a little obscure. Really good vintage United States Marine Corps tee. Ugh, no. Ugh. Before we move to the art category, let's go over some outdoors. L.L. Bean, L.L. Bean, L.L. Bean. That one is beautiful. L.L. Bean, vintage Patagonia, and yet another vintage Patagonia. Holy shit balls, this video is going to take me forever to upload. I literally don't even know how long this will take me. Like, this is insane. We're actually making some progress, boys. We are making some progress. We're only heating up. You guys may know what this is. This is not a Nike tee, trust. Flintstones, Jerry Lewis, Dan Yankees musical with that logo on the front. Sacred 2. There's only one virgin on this t-shirt. 
Sure. Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. That is nuts. Virgin Shaglantic. Another Austin Powers on the top heavy tag. One, two, three, four, five. Sopranos tees. This one's probably my favorite right here. Gone in 60 seconds movie promo. And the man with one red shoe, 1985. Have the copyright to 20th Century Fox right there. Absolutely insane. Grail. I've been filming so long, it's starting to get dark outside. Alright, before we go over some of my personal favorites, let me just show you some of the craziest pieces from this bundle. Actually insane. Some I've never seen and some are just really good pieces. First of all, the pancakes with cheese. I do know what it is because I googled it. It's a band. Wait, this is kind of dark. Hold on, let me get this nice and backlit. I've never listened to this band. If you look, you have Charles Manson and it says, Charlie, don't surf. I've never seen this shirt in my life. Like this thing is nuts. We'll go from top to bottom. T.I. Grand Hustle, 50 Cent. Man. Wish death upon me. Blood in my eye, dog, and I can't see. Soldier Boy, tell him. <laughs> that is so hard. This is like a early 2000s biggie. Then we have the Inspector Dead. This was kind of a weird one. I have not seen this shirt before. An album promo for the R&B group, Something for the People. As the album right there is on a 90s marina tag. MTV Yo, MTV Raps. I've wanted this tee before. I almost paid $200 for this tee. The Grave Diggers. For you guys that don't know, Grave Diggers is a rap group from New York. It's probably some of the only East Coast rap that I really grew up listening to. It wasn't quite horrorcore like Brother Lynch or Isham or any of that, but it was a lot more dark than like the mainstream rap music of the time. They still had like the gold grills with the fangs. I always look at that music as being extremely influential because you look at you know, rappers decades later, like ASAP Mob, for example, and I feel like a lot of their influences stylistically came from like Grave Diggers, Wu Tang, obviously. Definitely just a super sick, simple rap tee. Dead Presidents. I have not seen this shirt before. I believe it's for the movie, but I don't understand the licensing. It says Dark Brown Records, and I could not find anything related to that movie or that soundtrack. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. Fun fact it says Dead Presidents and the $100 bill on there. And like Fabulous once pointed out, Benjamin Franklin was not a president. Then oh, it only gets crazier. We got the Tribe Called Quest on the Brockham. Probably the two craziest or most valuable tees from this bundle. We have the Selena, arguably the best Selena rap tee. And of course, the Bjork. You got the Winterland licensing, photograph licensing right there. Absolute banger. That piece is insane. I had to get that out of the way because the sun's going down and I still have quite a few tees to go over. I think this might be like the last band tee. Bush, you got the little weed leaves right there. Speaking of weed, we have the Legalize It Quarter. The THC were in love, but he didn't smoke the kind. We have this trippy like mushrooms weed tee. Shroomarama long sleeve. Another Shroomarama long sleeve. The Shroomarama is crazy. This mushroom tee is even crazier. You have this goblin, which low-key looks like his penis is a mushroom. Then you have a big mushroom, but inside the mushroom, they're growing mushrooms. They're like little goblins growing mushrooms. Oh, and I also just realized he's taking a bite out of the mushroom on the front. This is all like puff print. In Weed We Trust, Bud Smoker, Millennium 2000 Weed Tea, MTV Seedless Parody, University of Michigan, Hash Bash 1996, Ronald McDonald Potluck, Have a Nice J. Is that all the Weed Teas? We got through those pretty quick. So we just did some of the Weed Teas. We might as well just do some of like the more obscure teas. This one says Massachusetts, where the weak are killed and eaten. Nice little Massachusetts cannibal tea. I think this is a band maybe? It says Victory Records, but it's a snap case, snapple flip, all natural hardcore. Some of these pieces are insane. Like this one, this might be a personal. The Black Flies says dancers rule. And then of course you have that same graphic on the back. There's some tatas. This is single stitch, this thing is nuts. I am extremely curious about what this tea is. If anyone has any info, please let your boy know. A bunch of funny little teas. Wall Street, you gotta know when to pull out. Illegal motives, and as you can see, Shorty on the back stripping. There's Energizer, and then there's Energize Her. The rabbit that just keeps on going. Just do me Nike parody. The airbrushed Tedes. The cover me condom promo. This one I need some information on. It says, Ted Kennedy's car has killed more people then my gun. While we're showing off a gun tee, there's a little Beretta. The River City Rebels. Alcohol and sex, never too much. As you can see her tatas are also out. The Frosted Poontang Flakes. The Tommy Hill figure. Tommy Guns Flip. Hot and Nasty Sutro Bathhouse tee. And then a Little Darlings Strip Club promo. Some of these shirts are so insane, dude. Like, that was 
probably one of my favorite piles. And no, it's not over. The ninth annual white party. Mmm, beer. The colors on that are insane. Pete's Scarlet Pub. The closest I came to a 4.0 at Rutgers was my blood alcohol level. One of my favorite teas. I hope this tea fits. Ice Cream Man from Hell. I have no idea what this is from. One thing I love about YouTube is that sometimes I just see a great shirt that I really appreciate and I have no idea what it's referencing. But thankfully, someone in the comments blesses your boy with some knowledge. Here is another one, the Double Trouble. This is a little bit obscure. You have the plane with the, whatever those things are called, propellers? Anyways, the graphic is two ladies with their tatas out and their nipples have little propellers on them. For personal 24 hour protection, dial nine millimeter. I do not know what this is. Metal MC born to party. Oh, this is a grail. Probably my favorite Christmas piece ever. You got Santa Claus peeing in the snow and spelling out Merry Christmas with his urine. Top piece. Of course, we have JB's Gallery of Girls. Classic coupe poster pop tea dated 1997. As for this next one, this is really only obscure because I heard there was a rumor that he like made people do math equations butt naked. I'm pretty sure Stephen Hawking's got canceled, but yeah. Stephen Hawking's. The Hey Look, I'm Picasso. Mr. Potato Head Toy Story movie promo. Silver Surfer. I have no idea what this is. Ribbit. You have this broccoli looking shorty riding a mechanical dog. And she has a skateboard and a gun. There's a lot going on with this. Big Johnson, parody tea, and Dragon Con. There's a convention around dragons? <laughs> this one's tight. I'm just one big fucking ray of sunshine, aren't I? Another coupe graphic, Bruce Lee's hair. You also have Bruce Lee's face. Panavision promo. Then you have the back hit right there for my filmmakers. Speaking of promos, Snapple promo. This is just like a cool outdoor life. Los Angeles Film School with the back hit. Another Panavision with a different back hit. Post Logic film video sound. And then of course a little Ray-Ban promo. I've like given up on the categories. I got like 10 minutes before it gets dark outside. Perry Ellis glasses promo. Taz me on long sleeve. Taz and Bugs, New York Yankees. World Trade Center's Memorial Tea. Fun fact, I was actually in Afghanistan during the anniversary of September 11th. I was stationed at Bagram Air Base. And during that time period, for basically like a week before and a week after September 11th, we would get attacked every single day. Oh, okay, this is sick. This is a top piece. I almost forgot about this. The Vibram Souls on the Fruit of the Loom, single stiatch, Brooklyn to Queens F train tee, New York City art tee. New York has the best freaking tees. I almost wish I lived there just so I could see cool vintage tees of my city, like this one right here, the New York City Marathon. Oh, there's so many good art tees, boys. Kabuki Theater, the Metropolitan Museum of Arts, the Barnes and Noble promo. For those of you guys that can read, I can't. The Brooklyn Bodega on the 90s changes tag, single stitch, the Frank Lloyd Wright architecture falling water tee, the Frida tee, the MC Escher self-portrait tee. Look at the fruit. Fruits. It looks delicious. The art of gene expression. Matisse, Da Vinci, Picasso. That is dope. The 1986 sushi, sushi club. I can't talk, I'm running out of time. One of my favorites, this piece is nuts. Nuclear fear. If you look under this like nuclear facility, you can see like a flaming skull. I don't remember how to say this person's name. I think it's like Marguerite, something like that. Single stitch, you got the clouds with the little Hat. Another Frank Lloyd Wright. Oh, this is good. This is good. I will get some unfollows on Instagram when I post this beauty. Hedonism with Mona Lisa. Tata's out. This is like a Keith Haring style art. It's Karen M. Perez. Little Philadelphia AIDS walk, 1993. A little 1993 Pride Tea. Mojo wear. Old like 90s artist. Punch Judy? Punch Judy. Why do you want to punch Judy? I don't know. Cool long sleeve. Little Frank Lloyd long sleeve. Wow, I did not realize that's a long sleeve. That makes that 10 times cooler. MC Escher AOP, Vincent Van Gogh bedroom. I have no idea what this is, but if you do, please let me know. Vieres de la Muse. Another vintage Barnes and Noble promo. Oh, this is sick. Mr. Know-it-all. Another good one, Tom's Restaurant. If you guys don't know what this restaurant is, this is the restaurant a lot of the Seinfeld clips take place at. Then we have the Hughes and Hughes. Oh, I forgot a wrap tea. I cannot believe I forgot a wrap tea. Holy shit. Some of my favorite teas are coming up. Soto, don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Godspell, don't know what that is, but it looks cool. This one, I have no idea what it is. Please let me know. You have all these names. Maiko, Yugo, uh, Mo Motor Fumo, Fumi. You have like all these, like, I believe Japanese names with 
people on them. Fruit of the Loom, single stitch. Another one of my favorites. Damn, Bleaker and McDougal. And you have this bike with stolen wheels. That is so sick. I'm pretty sure it's 70s based off the tag, but super old, old English malt liquor promo. Speaking of true vintage, we have the 80s Goldman Sachs, the great New England Brewers Festival. This might be the coolest beer tea ever. Marvel tea, I did not even, oh wait, is this a, Marvel tea or snack tea? Vices to Marvel, but it says combos snacks. Frank Lloyd Wright, Salvador Dali. I have one of these, great tea. Absolutely insane, Wizard of Oz, if I only had a brain. Train spotting number two movie promo. But wait, there's more. And we have the crew next. We're getting down to some of my favorite teas. First of all, South Circle Wrap Tea. I love this thing. If you guys watched the video where I went to the rag house in Thailand, I found an eight ball and MJG wrap tea and there was a Swab House Records record hit on the back. The reason I like that so much is because my good friend who is also in Thailand is RJ. RJ was one of the first people to start doing YouTube videos of going to thrift stores. His original channel was RJ Suave. And what was even doper about that find in that rag house was right before I flew to Thailand. In the first half of this 30K bundle, so the first 15K, the first 250 shirts, one of the tees was this South Circle wrap tee. On the back it says, check yourself, your problem just might be your attitude, South Circle. Give the relativity records hit right there. And then on this sleeve right here, you have the Suave Records. I didn't even notice this had the sleeve hit up until I already found that eight ball and MJG tee. The reason I got this was just because I thought it was a super dope, graphic for a rapper that is relatively not that popular. This is one of those ones where it's just, I don't know what it's worth. Find another. Speaking of find another, I just looked down. The Chupacabra tea. That is insane. I'm getting so excited right now. I love these Cholo style teas. It says sad clowns on the back. Then you have the smile now, cry later faces right there. I've mentioned this before, but I love all of that culture because my uncles are half Mexican and half white. And my uncle Desi specifically was always riding around and like low riders. And he's someone I always look up to so I always like that kind of stuff little low rider bike swank oh here it is Barrio loco you have the clown with all the tattoos this thing is insane your little skull the little low rider bike with the smile now cry later right there the Nike Cortezes with the little star single stitch with the same graphic in black and white right there that piece is insane anyway buy or die I want to try the shirt on because it looks like it fits good a view from the underground source magazine presents super dope tea that thing is freaking beautiful the brack album hey that's kind of a rap tea you got a clown with a gun and a blunt all sport single stitch rolling hard absolute clap damn that one is sick on the dayton's too look at that okay and then these teas right here we are going to need. I have been filming for so long, my camera is literally overheating. There are so many freaking shirts. Shirts, shirts, shirts. Before I show off these tees, I need to show off something else because these tees are going to be used to cleanse the energy in this room. This piece is insane. But this shirt right here, it's actually copyrighted to Heathenwear 1998. It says, Jesus finally reads the Bible. And as you can see, Jesus has what looks like a 50 caliber pistol. It looks like a freaking desert eagle with how big that thing is pointed to his dome he's currently flipping off something on the world 98 on a toltex absolutely insane piece anyways to cleanse the room we got the real men pray every day the jesus coca-cola and of course an absolute banger long sleeve virgin de guadalupe with the back hit as well i believe that is all of the piece. Oh man, I'm so excited. I have not been able to wear this thing. And now that it is summer, I probably won't be able to wear it till next winter, but I do not care. Technically I did get to wear it once in LA, but we'll get to that in just a second. All right, MC Escher Art Crew Neck. We have the LL Bean Russell Athletic. I think this one is too big, but it's on this Russell Athletic tag. It's like a collaboration between LL Bean and Russell Athletic. I also got it in blue and you have the tackle 12 letters. You may have seen me actually wear this in one of the videos because it's just so freaking good. NASCAR AOP crew neck, the love protect guide, the black children, the Pepsi Cola crew neck with the huge Pepsi tackle twill sewn in letters across the sleeves, the who framed Roger Rabbit crew neck. Oh, beautiful Michigan all the way across the sleeve 
Leagues once again. The Penn State like lightning helmet tee. Not Pittsburgh, but Blitzburg. The Georgetown Hoyas hooded sweatshirt. As some of my fellow whatnotters have been saying, sports is up. Anyways, the piece that I'm so excited to show you, I'm also so excited to get over with because this should be 500 pieces and I have been filming for like three, four hours. The FUBU puffer coat. Some people might be thinking like, yo, why are you so excited about a FUBU jacket? Well, first of all, finding a FUBU jacket like this that fits someone like myself who is 5'7 and 3 quarters, 5'8 on a good sunny day, bright sunny, like clear skies, sun rays beaming on my face day is very difficult. They were just made to be bigger. That style back then, it was just like a baggier style. They wanted them to fit really big. But this is the FUBU Racing puffer coat. Famously worn by Lil Wayne. I will always have a FUBU piece in the collection. As you guys know, when I started thrifting with my bro Paul, shout out Paul Kintu, FUBU boys for life. Before Supreme, I was doing like low key streetwear brands at the time. And one of the ways that me and him even started talking was about FUBU. He found like a super dope like FUBU baseball jersey. And this is right when I started getting a bunch of tattoos. So I was like, yo, I need that sleeveless show off the tats. So I hit him up, he went back, he got that for me. I think they were taxing on it. Honestly, at the time it was like $16, which was a lot back then. Then eventually when we linked up our mutual love for FUBU, we made like some FUBU lookbook. I don't know, it was this whole thing. If you guys were there back in the day, you guys may remember. Shout out to anyone that remembers FUBU boys. But yeah, man, this thing right here, an absolute grail in the collection. And no, it is not for sale. And it's also perfect because this thing will definitely keep me warm in the winter time. And I'm from the Pacific Northwest, Washington State to be specific. So it gets freaking cold here in the winter. I remember growing up as a kid, watching my brother rock FUBU. So I don't know, for me, this piece is just an absolute grail. And literally I went into the second deal telling myself that I'm not gonna do another 15K for 250 pieces. I'm trying to get my cost per piece down. At the end of the day, he did hook it up. It was a good bundle. He kind of knew he had me by the balls with this jacket right here too, because I just, I needed this piece. So yeah, man, shout out my boy. Almost everything that I showed off today will be sold on whatnot. Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Almost every single item that I've shown off in this video, except for maybe 10. I'm gonna try to limit it to 10 pieces. But this is definitely gonna be one of the pieces that I keep. Quality of these pieces is top notch. And there's a lot of variety, a lot of variety. It's gonna be really freaking difficult for me to only keep 10 pieces. <laughs> Okay, so I did a count before I left, but it only shows 473. So I know I got the 500 pieces. There was a Dudley Boys that I gave to RJ. There was also a Taylor Swift tee that I saw in the pile, but I don't know where it's at. So that could be in the storage unit. Obviously this buyout was like over a month ago at this point. So transporting that many tees and keeping track of all of them, it gets kind of difficult. I also did a buyout, so I may have sold some of those. I know we went through them, but I don't remember if I actually ended up selling those. Either way, that is the video. I'm actually about to drop the video now, like when you guys are watching this, I was recording this part two hours before you guys are watching it. Unless you guys don't have post notifications on, you guys aren't subscribed and you guys are watching it way after I post it, which in that case, please subscribe, turn on post notifications, please, while you're down there, show some love in the comments, hit the like button, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys like anything in the video or if you just wanna support me further, you guys can also follow me on whatnot, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W, top link in the description, right above the link to my Instagram, which will also be in the description and is also Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, I wanted to get this video out for some time because I wanted to post some of these shirts, but I've had to kind of keep these shirts under wraps. I also need to take them somewhere because I got this little pile here. You look, my hallway is just filled with shirts. I have no idea where I am gonna put all of these clothes. I'm just a little closer. And listen closely.